What's going on, guys? Back at you again. It's your boy, Coach Broom. And uh, today, man, we got my, a new guy coming in. Well, a new young man. His name's Jordan. Uh, my second day working with him, man. And uh, today, we're going to work on ball handling. And uh, basically, what we're going to do, man, is we're going to uh, track his progress and see how better he gets each time he comes uh, every Saturday morning over here to work out, man. And uh, by the end of this workout, by the time we get done training after these after this summer, man, we hope to see big improvement in his game, man. Uh, he's in the first grade, but he plays with my son, so they're playing in the second grade this next upcoming season in the fall. So let's see how he does, man. Keep watching, keep tuning in, keep being 100. Let's get it, man. Let's get to work. Okay, guys. So like I said, this is Jordan, and uh, he's going to the first grade this fall. And uh, he's still a beginner in basketball, so we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to uh, start from the bottom and work our way up and continue to grow as he gets better. So as you can see right here, we started with just simple stuff to me, but hard to him. Just dribbling up and down, getting used to getting the rhythm, getting the feel for that ball, dribbling up and down. And basically, we're doing reps right here. We're doing... 100, 200 reps, whatever it takes to get that natural feel of dribbling up and down. We want to make that arm tired, good and tired, and get it used to going through that same movement, that same motion each time. And then we're going to switch over to the to the, to the uh, left hand. Oh, he's doing the left hand. Now we're going to switch over to the right hand, and then we're going to work on going side to side. And once he gets to the side to side point, going switching from hand to hand, we're going to see how, you know, he's still a beginner, like he's still learning just to do this simple stuff, and which that's cool because everybody has to learn. You gotta start from somewhere. So let's, you know, get it done now. So when it's game time, it's easy work for him. So we got all this summer to get ready. The season starts back in the fall. He does play with my son, Jamie. Uh, he was playing up on the first grade team with my son, Jamie, and then now he's gonna play up on the second grade team. And he'll still be in the first grade. So he'll look much better this year with all Take the time. he's going to put in this summer. Slow down. There you go. Don't lose your dribble. Grab that cone. Keep dribbling. Ah! You know you got to go back, right? <laughs> Don't lose your dribble. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. Let's go. Concentrate. There you go. Keep your dribble. You got to get that cone, but you got to keep dribbling too. Come on. Get it. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. I said this video is gonna track his progress and see how better he's getting. So as you can see right here, we're going through the cone drill. You've probably seen this cone drill in, you know, a couple of my son's videos, Jamie and a couple other people that I work with. It's basically, he's doing a side step and he's still dribbling the ball, keeping up his dribble, trying to get as many dribbles as he can. And then when he gets to that last cone, he picks it up with the hand he's not using. And then he works his way back to that first cone. And he puts the cone down. And as you can see, the tape changed because he messed up. So anytime you mess up, drop the cone, lose the ball, you gotta start over. We're working on being perfect, you know? And when we mess up, we start over. If you hit my cone, you know, you give me 10 push-ups. And teaching them how to, you know, continue to work hard, continue to work on being perfect. So here we go right here. He's starting to get a good feel of it. We done did, we done it a couple of times and He's finally starting to get it a little bit, still a little bit under control, out of control, I mean. So one of our main things we're working on with him, with Jordan, is working on being under control, you know. He's trying to move too fast, trying to get there before he messes up, and he, he don't need to worry about that. Just take your time, go slow, and take it one step at a time, and you'll, you know, he'll get it. So every time he comes out, we work every Saturday morning, so that's what we'll be focusing on when we're doing our dribbling. But we're gonna be doing other videos too. Uh, we didn't do no shooting this day, but uh, we're gonna start shooting too, and we're gonna take it, you know, a couple things at a time. Like this day, we didn't do, but you know, just pretty much three drills. We did up and down dribbling, side to side. We did one cone drill. And that was it, and we just continued doing that. But anyways, last we added in the headband. Uh, we used him as a blindfold, basically to keep him from being able to look down and basically getting a feel of, for dribbling that ball and knowing where that ball is without looking, man. And as I said before, man, we're still getting more reps, reps out the reps, 100 reps, getting that arm good and tired and used to dribbling that ball. And uh, 
that's a wrap on the video, man. So, you know, as always, I like to say thank you for supporting. Thank you for, you know, tuning in to these videos, man. And as always, be 100, baby. Let's get it.